whole hospital was on Park Avenue at the Circle. He owned that whole, kept that whole block for himself. And this was his home. He sold it to Mr. Vajon, Joseph Vajon, who was married to Orlean Roy. And they lived there for a long time. Then they took the second floor off. And then later on, it went to a series of owners. Um, Roy was one of the realtors that came with C.C. Dusan and worked with him. Uh, I threw this in for you because this is Mark Sava's uh, great-grandparents. And this is how people lived in the area. If you look at the arrows, point to something on the rail of the porch. Anybody see? It's an accordion. accordion. Oh. So I thought that was fitting. Okay. Mud houses. A lot of our houses around weren't the Acadian-style houses. They were the mud houses, Musolage. And this one was photographed in 1930. It's probably one of the last ones in the area. Okay. And typical Cadian house. <coughs> Mentor Gillery was probably the, the uh, ancestor of about 70% of Eunice and moved to Eunice in 1905. Which is not He gets the <laughs> This is an example of how history can be twisted. This is a group of Catholics who went to the, the uh, train station to greet the nuns who were coming to be the faculty of St. Paul Institute, which was the school's name before it was changed in the 1920s to St. Edmund. Um, a lot of people think that this group is a group that gathered for the town sale. It wasn't. You see Father Shambaugh sitting down in the front. Um, these people were the ones who went and brought the nuns from this train station to St. Edmund or to St. Anthony's for a reception and then settled them into the convent. Um, some people say it was about the group, but it wasn't. 